Hey, what's up? This is Sifu Cuddle and welcome to Tai Chi Connection, the series where we look at the movements between the movements. Now in today's episode, we're going to be focusing on high pat on horse to a right heel kick. Now, even though these positions are very simple to get to, the transition in between is often quite difficult and people get confused on what to do with the hands or where to turn the waist and shift the weight. So we're gonna really focus on the in-between here because it's almost like doing another technique, okay? So the two things I want you to pay attention to are your up and down with the hands and shifting the weight. Let's go get to work. Okay, so we're gonna be starting from a high pat on horse position. So I'm gonna have my left hand scooping low and then my right hand extending out and forward here at about head level, okay? Now, from this position, simply step forward with the left foot out to the bow stance and then just shift forward maintaining this position. There's nothing extra that needs to happen with the hands here. So again, from our beginning position, I'm just going to step and then shift. From here, maintaining this position, turn the waist, and then we're gonna have up and down with the hand. I don't have to have any extra movement here. I don't wanna think of sinking down. I don't wanna think of coming up. I don't wanna shift the weight back here. So from this position, I'm just turning the waist and then changing the hand position. Now this is gonna come across almost like cloud hands. So again, I'm just gonna turn the waist here. But as I reach the end, I'm going to raise up both my hand to come up to the outside and cross the hands, and I'm going to raise up the leg. So again, from this position, I turn up and down, and then I'm going to raise the hand and the leg together. What makes this work is that I keep my weight distribution forward. If my weight distribution comes back during this, I have to push up and off onto my foot, or I have to go to a balanced position before I can raise the leg. But because from this position, I stay with my weight full on my front leg, I can easily raise up to the cross position and then finish with the kick, okay? So one more time, starting from our forward position from high pad on horse, I'm going to step, shift forward to that bow stance, Turn the waist, up and down with the hands, and then keep the weight on that front leg to finish with the kick, okay? Facing this way, from this position, from high pat on horse, step out, shift forward, turn, turn again, keep the weight forward, and then up, okay? It's as simple as that. Okay, so there you have it. Nice and easy. You just really want to focus on shifting the weight, turning that waist, and then paying attention to moving the arms up and down without moving extra parts of your body up and down. Okay? When you take the time to work on this, it's not going to feel so awkward, and you're going to set up for a much better position for your heel kick. If you like this video, don't forget to hit that like button, and as always, be sure to subscribe. Till next time, this is Sifu Cuddle. Bye.